Hello all, welcome to channel, movie learnings, when it comes to the most famous temples in the state, Pune tops the list as it houses some of the most popular and most visited temples in Maharashtra. These are the five most famous temples in Pune. So shall we visit. 1. Dagadaseth Halavai Ganapati Mandir is one of the most famous Ganpati temples in the world and ironically, it is known after the founder and so much so that, the Ganpati is lovingly referred to as Dagadu Ganpati. It's located alongside a busy street on Budvapet. Dagadaseth Gadv was a sweet seller who became famous as Hall Y. He was struck with tragedy when his son died of plague and his guru suggested that he build a Ganesh temple. That was how he built the temple in 1893. The famous freedom fighter, Lokmanya Tilak, was his close friend and it is said that it was here that the idea of celebrating Ganesh festival every year to unite people struck Tilak. Later, the festival became a cementing factor in times of freedom struggle. The temple has a beautiful architecture and looks imposing and can be seen from far. The Ganesh idol is simply beautiful and stands 7.5 feet tall. It is also one of the richest Ganesh temples in India. The popularity of the Ganesh temple can be gauged from the fact that devotees from all over the world come to visit it and offer the deity gold and precious jewels, at any time. The idol is decorated with precious stones and more than 8 kilos of gold. 2. The Burlaji Temple, Tirupati Burlaji Temple, also known as Sri Venkateshwara Temple, near Narayanpura village near Pune, built by Venki's Chicken Company, Sri Venkateshwara Hatcheries, and hence also called Venki's Burlaji, is a good outing from Pune. It is a good drive from Pune's Chandini Chok via the Bangalore Highway and en route you will find one of the longest tunnel in the nearby areas, of length of 1.5 kilometers. The temple itself is very good, the parking is about 200 meters away from the temple premises, and the parking area can be muddy and slushy in the monsoons. The Prasad is the popular Bundi Lodu, they make only 5,000 of them daily, or Bundi, if they run out of ladders. Both are equally delicious as expected. Bang opposite the temple front entrance is the Hanumanji Temple 3. Pataleshwar Cave Temple, this 8th century rock cut temple is amongst the major attractions of Pune. Carved out of single basalt rock piece, this cave temple is able to grab the attention of many visitors. The temple is said to be built during the Ratrakutu era and is dedicated to Lord Shiva. The Shiva Linga. Massive pillars and Nandi Bull are the main attractions of this temple. It was originally situated outside the town, but the city limits have expanded so that it is now located on the downtown Jangli Maharaj Road. The huge complex of the cave has been converted into a garden and there are a few architectural members stored in it probably belonging to some old temple nearby. As this is the oldest monument in Pune, which is over 1,300 years old, the Pune Office of the Archaeological Survey of India is located in the adjacent property. A brass temple bell hangs outside the basalt entryway. 4. Parvati Hill Temple, as the name implies, the temple is located on a hillock at around 2,100 feet above sea level. The Parvati Hill Temple was built in the 17th century and is one of the best attractions in Pune. There are 103 stairs to reach the temple. The stairs are built of stone and symbolize the fine work of artisans of the past and these stairs are not steep, which makes climbing easy even for senior citizens. The present temple is believed to have been built by Nana Saheb, the third Peshwa. Actually, there was a small temple at the spot where Nana Saheb's mother Kashibai went to pray to cure her disease and vowed that on her recovery she would build a grand temple there. She recovered and that is how Nana Saheb built the temple to keep his mother's word. Parvati Hill Temple is located near the Swargate bus station and hence ideal for visitors to visit. The temple is open throughout the day. 5. Chatushrangi Mata Temple Located on a hill at the Senapati Bapat Road, it's dedicated to Goddess Chatushrangi which is the other name for Goddess Lakshmi, 
Goddess Saraswati or Goddess Kali? The word Chatushrangi means four mountain peaks. Standing at 125 feet, the temple can be reached only after a hard climb over 100 steps. The best time to visit the temple is during the Navaratri festival when a big fair is held here. Most of the temples are located nearby and can be covered easily. All in all, visiting the Pune temples offers visitors a spiritual experience that is unfathomable. If you want more videos subscribe you can also comment and like this channel.